Welcome back to Subsistence. My name is Gameage, and we've got a lot to do, a lot to see. I, well, I made myself another crate right here, and I got... What the hell? Level 1 wolf. Yeah, alright. It is what it is. We have to deal with it. I am crafting as we're going. As you can see, I'm crafting up some stuff that we need. I'm also going to get some platforms done. Then we're going to head out. We use a lockpick we just got for a brand new BCU. And yes, that means hunters will arrive in the next couple of days. Usually about two to three days, uh, we'll see the hunters arrive. Uh, we'll get ourselves a lot of platforms done as much as possible. Thankfully, the wolf's moving over there. We're going to move ourselves into the middle. This will be our dock. This moving down. This will all move too. Uh, fortunately, BCU will have to be rebuilt. But it's okay. It's a little struggle we're going to have to do. Uh, just to make sure these things don't get hurt or damaged. We can actually... These things are full. Right here. As you can see, they're full of stuff. But thankfully, uh, we can actually move them. He's got the strength to do it, which is... I really, really am happy with that. So we can actually just grab this here. And press end, which is saying on the bottom right. And we'll take this up and move it around here. And we'll place it here. There we go. I lose it when I get into blue here. Hey, look at that. Interesting. All right. Uh, we're going to place it here for now. And then we're going to pick it back up in a second. That wolf is definitely a big problem. Uh, it's not bad. He's not going to come into platforms as of yet. But definitely going to be a big issue as we progress. And how many more do we have coming? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, should be able to at least place down all our platforms here. And make our base starting right about there. So this is going to be a long platform in. Again, it's going to be our dock getting into our base. And that is part of it. So we're going to actually press end again here. And now we should be able to see all that we need. This will be a temporary BCU, like I mentioned. So it's not a big problem. Look at that. As soon as the water hits. Wow. Really off. It looks like it's not going to show up, but it's fine. That's good. It won't have, doesn't have to be perfect. I just want the animals to get caught in it. And if the bear starts attacking, he can sometimes climb up. And yeah, not interested in losing our stuff, as you know. So this might not be perfectly placed, guys, but it will be placed afterwards. Now that we can pick up a place from the update, previous updates, it is all good. That is going to annoy the crap out of me. I know it. You know, if it's not perfectly placed, it's still, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, I can't redo it. The same place. Okay. So, let's just grab this back out again, and bring her back into positioning here. This should be pretty good, pretty decent. All right, we have everything here. We have our platforms going. Platform, again, another platform. Oops. She went in a little too deep into the water there. Oh, look at that. I can't see it attaching. Where's it attaching to? Is it attaching there? It is attaching there. All right, there's some things that need to be worked on for sure. The game, obviously, I probably didn't expect this to start building in the water, but there's definitely an issue with this. Uh, which way is wood going? I'm going to switch it to this. And I'll bring that out here. No more platforms. We have no more platforms, but we started off and we got this rolling. We're going to be making our base right about here. Not too close to shore. Nothing too big. Uh, but I think we might actually spring it here out. I see some... Oh, crates. Awesome. All right. We're good to go. We're healthy. We're actually going to get ourselves some 9mm round right here. Boom, boom. We're going to place back all of our tools we need. Our pickaxe. Glow stick in case of emergency, and we're going to place back anything we're not using at the current state. And we're in. All right, cool. That's perfect. Use up quite a bit of nails. There's 100 nails I had on me there. So that's that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot more than expected just for the couple of platforms, but it does go fast. So, bear yourself. If you do need the nails, you really have to get rolling on those. All right, we're going to place this here and this here for now. And then we've got a nice clean inventory. We do have uh, on the bottom right, you can see we have, what, three right here. I'll show you guys. So we have three here in the bottom bandages and three of five health kits. So that's really cool. Uh, we can actually turn you off. We don't need you anymore. Thank you very much for your service. And we are going to be building ourselves. Once we get rolling here. We're going to need some more cloth. I'm going to need three more cloths. That means a couple rabbits have to pass away. We have only one in stock of the current state. Oh, holy shit. I did not see you. I jumped off without looking. And there's a crate over there. That's why I was going for it. All right, we'll have to go around it. It's all good. I'm not scared of him. Well, slightly. We won't be scared of him once we have a shotty. But right now we're going to make our way and in invest. Oh, shit. I hope because it's just a little leeway to pick this up. This is an ammo crate. He's not going to give it any leeway. Take a run. Oh, shit, shit, shit. That was close. That watching him come at us. 
I was like, holy crap. Yeah, he's still coming after us. All right, screw you. There's a wolf there. Wow, the animals are out and about today. Our nutrition level is pretty high. Unfortunately, the meat that I did get scored from last episode it went bad by the time I cooked it, so shit happens. Shit happens. So be it. We'll uh, we'll move forward. We'll move on. We've got this down path. We, we're going to go and get what we need and make our way through here trying to not get into attacks with the animals. If we are going to kill a wolf, preferably late on or just in self-defense, so that is the only way I'd prefer to do it. Uh, we got a couple more rounds. Well, we have seven. So we have seven more bullets. We can knock into it. So we have uh, more than enough to take down two animals if we want to, depending on what level they are. It's really cool. Love this update. I love it. The water changed everything for me. I love how every time he does that, it's always something that makes you feel like it's the game's just picked up again. This game is so much fun. If you have not played it and you make a decision to buy it, it is hard as hell, but worth it every ounce of your effort to learn how to play it. Tell you right now, they're not going to give it to you. It's not going to give you the ease of winning. There is easy mode. You can do it with that. Is that a rabbit? That's a chicken. All right. There's another crate. That is pretty good. Awesome. Protein bar. We can actually use that. The protein bar here, if I hover over it, it gives 16 protein, 8 hunger. So that's very much worth it. You'll see the protein go up here. Perfect. And you see that wolf coming across too. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Oh, we got... Oh, shit. We got a wolf behind us and a bear here. Let's crouch. Take what we can and get the hell out of Dodge. Let's go. Run, run, run. Is that a crate there? Is that a fern? Oh, it's a fern. Damn it. The shadows are playing jokes on us. They're making fun of us. Yes, they are. It's all good. It's all good. Can't be easy. If it was easy, it'd be boring. Okay, we got a wolf on the right. And we got some iron here. And I'm telling you right now, time to pick up the iron. Time to pick it up. This is it. Don't hesitate. It's like gold. All right, take our bow. That's really close to that wolf. I'm gonna be able to get back. No, I'm gonna be able to get it back. Every arrow costs some nails to make, so you want to make sure you're utilizing it properly. Clear here, clear there. Okay, there's a bear there. Excellent. All right, let's just crouch here and pick up some more. We've got some zinc here. It's going to help us make some... Well, there's some other goodies, too, that it helps us with for uh, upgrading, but it also helps us make gunpowder. And here's a copper, too. This is using most of the upgrades, and you're going to need this big time, so you want to pick it up when you see it. Very helpful. Another body of water, as usual. We're good to go there. That looks beautiful. We could go and pick up some kelp and get some food. That's some easy food right there. Let's let's do that. I'm gonna make sure I have nothing in my hands. Again, you also want to make sure you don't have any animals that are going to wander themselves in here because they can come after you. Uh, you can drown. There is no meter. Where are you, kelp? There you are. Get some kelp. Get some kelp. Go back up and get some air. And there we go. Another few kelp here. Now it respawns every time. I'm not sure if it's daily, uh, just like the trees and all, but I know it respawns itself. So it is very, very helpful. Worth the swim, worth worth the effort, and hell, the guy needs to clean himself up every so often too, so pick this up. It's like fruit and vegetables, and it's very much worthwhile. If you got yourself a some pets and all, you might want to be able to get some of this here. Some pets, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> some uh, rabbits or chickens you use in a farm, then I would say to get out there and go get it. It is very useful. Cuts down the cost of tomatoes and stuff. Gotcha. He's not going to be our pet. <laughs> no livestock for you, buddy. All right, we are going to stop and hit up some trees once we start running out of energy and start seeing it drain too much. Oh, shit. 
And that is usual. We do need quite a bit of trees. And these trees in this area are very good. They're all four logs and very much worth it. Uh, good knockup, but again, you want to be as far as possible of the bears and the wolves. They can water themselves right out at you, and there's nothing you can do. They can sneak up to. Usually the growls do occur, but hey, sometimes it's like a big surprise. All right, we're going to move down here and pick this baby up here. This is a good crate. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. Nails and boards, man. I'll take that any day. All right. I am liking the loot, the amount of loot we're getting now. A lot easier. Uh, not too easy, but a little better than last time. Last time was a little too harsh for me. I thought it was a little killer. Again, these trees here is really nice because they're really close to each other. There's another area down there where you can hit them up one after another. Again, you want to keep them as close as possible so your stop is worthwhile. You don't want to waste your time running around for everything around the area. So as much as possible, hit them up. I see another crate right there. At the same time, it gives you a chance to look around the area. You would have probably missed running through. Now, the crates are easily missed, guys. You can miss them. It sounds very easy, but you probably miss them. You don't realize it. Uh, so, yes, stopping and uh, hitting up trees always worthwhile. Always worthwhile. There we go. I'm just pressing the F key and grabbing that baby up. We'll make our way to that chest. And again, I'm picking these up. So then we can craft up some more boards. We're also going to need some for fire, but I actually crafted up a fiber brick. Uh, it's a fuel log, so it's you'll be able to use that for the first fire we're going to make. And we're going to need to go and pick that up. We also need rabbits for fur, which is cloth. The cloth will be able to give us the opportunity to make our fire, uh, our wood stove, which we really badly need. We really need that. It will be a lot less wood needed to actually queue that up. It lasts pretty much the entire day. So not bad at all if you can actually make that as fast as possible. We'll hit this series here. And uh, we do need the wood big time. So there's no choice, guys. No choice. Part of the game. Part of the game. Especially early on. And actually, every time you want to build, you're going to need to hit this up and keep your fire going. So part of any kind of survival. You can stockpile. You can spend a whole day grabbing as much wood as you want to. It is very useful. We'll go back and pick this up. And also the scrap. I'm not going to throw that away. That is very useful. And we're going to make our way to this building crate. Oh, sweet. Nothing better than building crate. Come on. Thank you. Some more nails. How many nails we got now? 20 nails. That's a really good start. Let's see if there's anything on this side. There's some scrap here while I'm doing that. Oh. Well, that... That just disappeared. Okay. There's some crates over there too. I'll hit that up right away. There's a rabbit. Excellent. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for your service. It is a very much appreciated. Come on. Up. There we go. Perfect. Some shoddy ammo. Real nice. Good way to start. You know, if we don't have any, we can stockpile it as we go and save us some headaches later on, too. And cost. Everything is worthwhile. Everything has a cost to it. All right, let's make ourselves up here. We should be fine. Oh, some scrap. I'm trying to see. There's another crate over there. Just a crate right here. Well, I did not see it until I got up the hill. Nicely hidden. All right, that's good. We have eight shots now. Actually, I'm thinking let's utilize this time and make one of you. And for wood, let's get some planks going. Let's make as many as we possibly can. And also, we have one more for fuel brick. We'll try and... Actually, I'm going to need some more cordage. I was going to do ten. gives you a fuel brick, but it's okay. For now, we're going to have to deal with what we have to deal with. Which is we need quarters too to build our frames and stuff or platforms. So, so be it, right? So be it. You can do this. There's a wolfie and he's got some scrap near him. Not as important as that crate I saw two seconds ago, which I lost sight of it. Or was it the fern playing tricks on me? I grabbed it. I took a bit of a risk. But he was facing the other direction, so it's not so bad. Son of a bitch. Oh, I thought I had him. He turned left just in time. Son of a beeswax. Okay, there he is. He's right in front of us. 
Hopefully he's not going to jettison away. He didn't see us for some reason. Okay, cool. Excellent. All right, our inventory is doing pretty good here. It's pretty full already. Let's start making our way towards this area. There's a bear there. Let's see if we can make it up here. We're also looking for a lock crate. And the lock crates can be found anywhere on this map. So there is preferred areas, which I like to go. I like the one I'm going to right now, up here. All right, wolf on the right. Be careful, always looking around. Is that a crate? Is that a shadow? Shadow, damn it. Another shadow. It's okay. It led us to some fiber, which we need, and some berries, I think. Is that berry? No, it's fiber. Yeah, it is fiber. Tough to tell sometimes the difference from far, but it is what it is. Oh, I thought it was a rabbit. It says shadows again. <laughs> Damn it, they're playing tricks on me. I don't see any lock crates. I didn't see that much of them. I think so far we've only seen one of them. So that is something. That might be different. Maybe not as easy to find. I don't know. We'll have to see. One point, I think we were getting them way too often, so he might have dealt them back a little bit or spread them out different locations. So we'll have to keep our eyes open and make a move for it. All right, we've picked up whatever we can. Pick you up. We'll go through the rock here. Sometimes we get lucky. And there's one right on this left hand side. Is that a chicken? We could eat like king snipe, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Didn't see that arrow coming, did you? All this loot here. It used to be tons of loot in this area. A wolf, I think, here. Yeah, he's right against a rock. Yeah, I'm not seeing as much loot as it used to. Now, this forest here used to give us tons of loot. And maybe this load here itself, I'm not seeing very much of it. Maybe also where I put my base down may have affected it too. I'd have to go back that area. All right, some fiber. We'll take it. Okay. Not seeing crates though. No crates. Be careful. I think I saw a wolf. Just double checking. Let's go go for this fiber. Where are you? Oh, he's on the right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wolf and bear. Wolf. Ouch. All right. That could go really bad really fast. Let's make our way back around here. We weren't lucky last time around here, but I'm curious. You need to test out the areas and see where you can find the loot. So best to go around and double check everything. Now well, again, this is loot here. So that's pretty good. I'll take the uh, iron. That is good. That is sweet. Some medical plants. Some more fiber. There's one down there, but it's too close to that wolf. I'm not going to touch it. That's a fake... <laughs> fake node. All right, come on, come on. Where are you? Here's the other body of water, if you guys were wondering. We could actually dive for kelp here, too, if we want to. Probably a good idea, actually. We're kind of hungry. And uh, we're going to utilize the kelp here. Let's eat one to see how far we go. How much should it give us again? It gives us plus three hunger, plus nine fruit vegetables. That's pretty good, actually. Much better than, oh, well, plus 30. Okay, it's not much better, but it's okay. We still can get it easily, so might as well fill ourselves up. Eat. Mix these into berries. Perfect. Open up a space. At the same time, we're going to dive some more and pick up some more goodies. It would be cool if they put a treasure underneath here. Or some kind of loot crates you can loot. Current time, be careful dropping anything in here because you will not be able to pick it up again until he fixes that or decides to fix it. I'm not sure if he will, but hopefully he will. Because last episode was kind of harsh. Losing out. I think it was a platform I dropped in here by mistake because it kicked out of the inventory and it was kind of harsh. Right, there's two more plants over there. Perfect. We'll grab those two and we'll head out. 
This is a beautiful placement. The placement for the water, uh, logically, was some of the best positioning I've ever seen from a developer. He really knew where he wanted his stuff, and it placed it really nicely. And the water looks pristine. I like the way it looks when you come in and out. Beautiful. All right, let's get ourselves out of here. Excellent. All right, we got ourselves a couple more kill. It is food. Don't spit on that, that's for sure. There's a chicken. I really don't need it, but I could use the feathers. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. He's a, he's a goner. We are going to need more wood, too. That is for sure. I'm going to go back, backtrack, and see if we, nothing else spawns behind us again. Last time I said I was going to do it, and I didn't do it. So I'm going to head back this time. I just see a node right here. Some iron. Let's hit this baby up. We got a mine, we got a hunt. We have to make sure we also fill us up with every goodie we can in the stockpile until we're ready to get the refinery. Once we get the refinery, we'll be able to melt this down and give ourselves more lockpicks and more stuff. Uh, which is by using the iron and stuff. So yes, very much needed. Pick it up now, get yourself rolling. Oh man, I should have built on here. This is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not a horrible location where I picked. I like the, lo the location very much. And I'll probably end up uh, building on each one of them. And it depends on if he expands the map. But yeah, it's gorgeous. You want to build on each one of them. Maybe we'll do multiple bases. Who knows? Shit, I really need that rabbit. I rub it. All right, let's go and get the rabbit. And then we'll have to hit up a tree and get our stamina back. Because we're running all the time. Oh. Level 3 wolf. Not exactly a fight I want to get into. Gotcha. Sorry, rabbit. Guess you're his chew toy. And I'm taking it. Oh, shit. That sounds like multiple wolves. Oh, and a crate. Of course, a crate. Tell me they're not chasing me. I don't think they are. Just in case, we'll turn ourselves around. Oh, bandages. Wow. Nice crate. Nice crate. Now we can grow cotton too. You don't have to kill the rabbits that just disappeared I me, mean, didn't it? It did. Okay. Uh, yes, you can grow cotton and make yourself your own your own uh, cloth and stuff, else than killing rabbits. So, but at the beginning, unfortunately, they are needed. They are very much needed. Feels like the loot did respawn or started respawning back here. Make my way down the hill and see if there's anything else. And hopefully, also a lock crate appeared. It would be beautiful. Wow, okay. Nothing. I was hoping for something else, but nothing down here. Oh, there's a crate here. Yeah, some of this. I might have missed this. Actually, I didn't come around this area. This could have been missed easily. There we go. And we're going to mix the berries into the here. And make ourselves some room. And we got ourselves some berries right here, which is going to give us also... It mixes together and gives you more of a berry water, which it gives you more of each like more of fruits vegetables more of hydration so very much needed to just mix them together until you actually need them you can actually still place them into farmhouses and stuff it's not a big deal but i mean preferably use the water from the water well or the ones you have in stores you know stock i guess you could say all right i don't see any crates except for the one over there but i don't see any log crates all right let's go over here let's make ourselves some more cordage Craft, 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 craft. Keeping ourselves busy as heck. And that is what you want. Picking up as much loot as we can. How many nails do I have now? 31. Now I've got myself 36 of them. That is pretty sweet. Ooh, second one. Let it be all nails. Let it be all nails. No, it isn't. But it's okay. Let's go around here. down here away from that bear and we're gonna start looking at heading back home it's getting dark and hitting up more trees on our way there but it looks like the loot fairies are coming out that's what Noko was saying yeah they're coming out they're dropping them early that's our late day so prepare yourself best to go out a little bit in dusk to go and pick up as much as you can oh okay we're gonna leave that fiber alone there's a wolf there 
We're going to want to be caught in the nighttime here. But I think we got enough food. Uh, the only thing we don't have enough of is wood. Kind of a shame, but we're going to have to get ourselves back home first before we start stopping and picking up more wood. Just because the time frame isn't there. Oh, it's a chicken. Okay. If it was a rabbit, unfortunately, I'd have to take him out. I think I have just enough to make myself a fireplace for tonight. And they are, if you're curious, their bar there, the green bar, there are 30 hit points. Chickens are 25. So, yeah, it's easy to determine without even looking, but sometimes you just look at see on the side whether or not it's them checking it out. Here we go. Another medicinal plant. We want that medical, medical. Give it to me, give it to me. Take you. Take you too. And right into a crate. Get ourselves ready at any time. We can be attacked. Nightfall is coming. Again, pick it up. That is a building crate. Pick up whatever you can on your way back. Make it quick. And you should be fine. Lots of trees nearby. I can hit up a couple before nightfall. I should always have a stockpile at the base, which I really do usually, but I want to build a little more this time around, so that is a problem. All right, Bill, there's a bear. There's a Bill. No, there's a bear. Right there on the left-hand side, you can see him. And there's also a wolf there. Make a little circular motion around this rock. And climb up this hill. And you can see our base is that little dot. That's a BCU. That's giving us a location. Okay, we're going to hit up some trees here. Here we go. It's going to go six. It's sweet. It's not great, but it's sweet. Come on. We should get chainsaws or something. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Start sawing that up. Take him out cold. All right, more fiber. Right now is not time to craft. I want to get as much as I can going. The sunset is coming, and we're going to freeze ourselves to death. We don't have any clothes on currently. We only have pants and underwears. Uh, we have no shoes or anything else, as you can see. So we're going to have to start investing in that very quickly. Definitely not primo to be at this state. I didn't see too many crates, though. Maybe I missed the area. Start doing the Red Forest. Uh, next episode, we're going to start doing a little bit of Red Forest searching, which is the one on the right, right hand side, and see if there's any more down there. We haven't really taken a full sweep of the area to make sure, but I double checked this one now. We're going to double check that one. Again, logs, logs, logs as much as you can before nightfall. Okay, we're also have to build our fire. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, hop onto our base, and we're going to open you up and make ourselves a wood-burning stove, which we need three cloths. We're going to have to take apart the rabbits. Three cloth, and I think we have enough to pick up everything else. Wood-burning stove, yes, so it takes 450 power and 75 mass. Both these will come back 500 and 100 for free. The rest you have to generate with other things, kind of like here with the generator. And also, you have to increase your power by storage areas to bring them up higher. So we'll go through all that process too. If not, go and check out last seasons. I have uh, eight seasons of this, and there is a lot to learn. So if you're new to this, don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right, we're going to place the stove here, actually, for now. Let's place it here, and we can move it afterwards. It won't be perfect, but it will be there. There should be a fuel brick here. There is. That's perfect. And some matches. I'm really... That's my last of my matches. Nice. All right. Ignition. Fuel. Ignite. Perfect. We'll cook, cook up. We'll cook up our rabbit right here. Perfect. Oh, nice. And that's it. We're going to be able to wait for the rabbit to be cooked. It didn't go bad, so it's really nice. We also have extra food here with our chickens we can get. We also have our kelp, which is really nice protein. We can go... Pretty much pick those up every so often. Uh, it kind of helps a lot. If you think about how much fruit and vegetable that brings up. Right now, my proteins are very low, so I'm going to pretty much have to eat every one of those chickens there. Two. But it's okay. I'll cook them all up. And then uh, by next day, we're going to be able to head out and get some more loot, hopefully, in the lock crate. We were not lucky this time around, but hopefully next time, we will be able to find it. It's okay. It can't always be perfect. If it was, it'd be pretty boring and too easy. So 
it is what it is, right? So thanks so much, guys, for being here. Really do appreciate it. Again, if you guys like this, do not forget to like button. It's always very much appreciated. This is Edge Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.